Hi everyone, this is Ida with Created to Create. I have a project share. I um I have been playing with the uh, little hearts that I the wooden hearts that I had picked up in Hobby Lobby, and I already shared these how I painted them. I didn't do a process video. I pretty much told you what I did to them. And I used a collage paper, but you can use napkins as well. You have pretty napkins with uh, nice little uh, scenes that you like. Anyway, I have been playing because I wanted to make some uh, like spring wreaths in the shape of a heart. This is one of the ones that I created. And uh, the, I shared this one when I created this. But what I didn't share was after it had dried, I mean, after, yes, after it had dried, I actually uh, put glossy accents all over it. And I don't, maybe you can see the shine, possibly. I think you can. I added some glossy accents to it. And uh, so it would seal it nice and uh, shiny because I did want it to be, you know, uh, shiny on top, like epoxy. And uh, then what I did was I used one of my Stitch Heart dies. Let me grab it real quick. I used uh, this Stitch Heart die, and I used the uh, this one right here. I think there's one more missing in here, so I'm not going to tell you which one. But I kind of just took my heart, and I didn't want one that was almost the same size. I wanted one to be a little bit bigger, so this was my guide as to what size I wanted to use. But that was, sorry guys, that was the die that I used. And I cut out, actually I cut out two pieces, two hearts, and glued them together so they would be nice and strong. And then what I did, what I did is I um, I glued the, the wooden heart to the center of that die cut with, uh, I used Beacon 3-in-1. So I used the Beacon and I adhered the heart, the wooden heart, in the center of that die cut. And then I took my... Uh, this shred was uh, came in one of the swaps, one of the tea party swaps. So I have it, and I do have it in different colors that have iridescent in it. This just happened to be sitting on my table from the swap. So the blue one that I did, the baby blue, the spring one, I did it in that blue shred crinkle. And I've showed this, guys, how I do this. So there should be a tutorial. If you look on my channel, there is a tutorial. Um... If I have time, I will go ahead and link that. But if not, just look on my channel. It's there. And it's called, I think, uh, Shred Wreath or something like that. Process video. So, um, and then I have it in the in the natural. So remember I said I use the Ziplocs to put my shred in because these bags always rip. So I do have it in the natural. And I actually really like the natural look as well. So this first one, I did do it with the blue. And then my friend Nisha, who is inspiring beautiful creations, she gifted me these little tiny dies that have the seasons. And this one says spring. And um, so I just I cut it in the foil paper and I adhered it to a piece of satin ribbon to make a little uh, banner. And then these berries right here, it's from some flower pick, guys. I, I always, I don't even throw away the bits and pieces. These were just little pieces that I had left over from something, and, and I uh, brought them to my work table to see if I could, um, you know, fit them into the design of this wreath. And, um, and then I had these little berry sprays that I take apart, so I added some other of the larger, like, pearl-shaped berries. This little bird came from a die. Actually, there's a little bird here, and there's one right in the center of that bow. I think you can see that. And that came from a little die that I bought. That's the bird cage with the little birds. And I do have a branch one. I think a branch one would be real pretty, but I couldn't find mine. But there's some dies that I, and I believe I own one, that's a little branch and it has little birds like on the line. That would have been really cute to add here, but I just couldn't find mine. And then I, um, I just kind of sprinkled the berries throughout. And then I just put in my little birds. And the little birds, guys, I didn't do much to them, even though they're very colorful. I just cut it out of designer paper that I felt like 
had pretty colors in it. The only thing I did edge is a little bit in black. Other than that, I didn't do much to them. Right here is a little piece of, it looks like a little twig, but it's a little piece of ribbon. And I'll show it to you in the other one because I have a bigger piece on that one. And it comes in a roll, guys. And I, you pick it up at Hobby Lobby and it looks like a, almost like a fishing uh, net ribbon. But it does have iridescent it's, it, uh, sparkles on it. And it's kind of like a little bit whitewashed. Some of you have it, so you'll know what I'm talking about. And then I added a bow right here, and then I added a little flower right here. And I kind of wanted to add a coil there, so I didn't cut off these, the little wire that was on the rose. I usually just take a, a dowel rod, a, a skinny one, like a skewer, and I wrap it around that and, and coil it. And like, so it'll be a nice uh, little spring in the flowers. But that is what I created, and if you can see, that's the little bird nest that's in there. So I thought this was really cute, guys. So that's more of a, you know, with the pastel colors in it. And then I did one in the natural. I did this one in the natural. And I love, love, love the way it looks. Again, I did do the uh, the um, glossy accents after it had dried. So, I mean, I think you can pick up the shine a little bit. Yeah. You can pick up the shine on this one. And um, I just did it with the natural color or craft color shred. And and I kind of just twirl it on my finger like you would a curly, uh, like your hair, if you have curly hair. That's kind of what I do. I just kind of twirl it and twist it all and go all the way around the perimeter with my hot glue gun, adhering it all the way around. And, you know, if, if one go around isn't thick enough, I'll repeat it again until I get it as thick as I want it. So that's what I did here. And this is that little mesh that I was telling you about that comes in a spool that you pick up at Hobby Lobby. And I just cut, cut just a little strip and cut it up and just tucked it here and tucked it there. You can see a piece up here because I thought it was really pretty. And then I added some more of those berries right here, some little coils. Then the little satin bow right here, and then a little rose. I'm going to stickle up the rose, though, and I haven't done that. Uh, but other than that, I think they came out really nice. And I was playing, kind of just messing around. And I'm thinking that something like this, the Heartfelt Creations, will look really pretty on the natural ones, even the pink ones. Uh, whether I would put it here and just add a flower, or if I would place it underneath, uh, my if I would place it underneath my um, my wreath I think it looks really pretty I hope you can see that I think that looks really pretty with it looks pretty with the craft colored one and it also looks really pretty with the the pastel color one so all in all guys I really like the way this came out let me share those little dies with you that uh, my friend Nisha gifted me that way you know um, what they look like. Actually, I'm going to share both of them with you. This is the little die that um, um, that I got the little birds from. And it is a little bird cage that has, it's two different uh, bird cages. And then I don't have a link, guys, so you're going to have to look for it. It did come from China. So there's the stand for the bird cages. I think I did show it around Valentine's Day, guys. And then here are the little birds. And like I said, I just uh, cut them out of uh, colored cardstock and uh, just added a little bit more color with black, and that's about it. So this is where I got the little birds because for these little wreaths, they're the perf perfect size. I didn't have any stickers. I think stickers would have worked well. Some of the stickers are very realistic. But I didn't have any tiny uh, bird stickers. And uh, the the spring is this one right here. It says spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And these were gifted to me by my friend Nisha, who is inspiring beautiful creations here on YouTube. She gifted me these dies, and they're tiny. So they are the perfect size for... Um, they're the perfect size for the uh, these little wreaths that I like to make. And I like to make them not just in a, um, 
not just in a heart shape. I've never shared them in a heart shape, but I have done them before in a heart shape, but I didn't share them. But I've done them in the circle, like just a regular uh, round wreath. And um, I did some fall ones for my friend Nisha. So there, I think there's a video for that. And she did share, I believe, her art swap that we did in the fall. So if you want to look at that, just hop on over to her channel. Uh, if I find the video, I will link that as well. But this is all that I wanted to share with you guys and hopefully uh, give you more ideas of what to do with these little wooden hearts. And again, like I said, there's very pretty napkins that you can use with beautiful designs on them. The shred comes in all colors. I know Tuesday morning has some that have the iridescent mixed in with the colors because I own those. So that would look really pretty. And it's just depending if, you know, if you're a shabby girl, and then of course you will go with the pastels. But I kind of, if I had to choose, I would go with the natural looking one but that's just you know it's a personal preference although I do love shabby and light colors I mean I like that but something about this that really I really like thanks for watching you guys I hope everyone's having a great day um I, I was what I was gonna say was an update on the the tea time swap that I'm hosting right now I think I only have enough to record the last group that is in so far and then hopefully an, uh, at least one more swap will come in because there are several ladies that did not send their swaps and um, but anyway if another one doesn't come in I will actually step in and fill that spot uh, and that will be the, the end of the swap. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope everyone's having a great day and God bless. Bye.